Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas on a really warm, sunny summer day. 2022 units are starting to roll onto our lot and I have behind me a North Point 377 RLBH. That's rear living room bunkhouse model. Very, very popular floor plan and I have the first 2022 unit that we've gotten in right behind us. There's a few new things about 2022 that I would love to show you before we get uh, into the rest of the walkthrough. So let me point out my top three favorite changes in 2022. Number one, starting in 2022, we have a Diflex 3 roofing material, which carries a 20 year warranty. Number two, starting in 2022, standard is a 3,000 pound hitch, so you can pull a small boat, motorcycle, cargo carrier, something like that. And we have a plug for lights as well. Number three, now we have a place to stow our stinky slinky. You may say, hey, we've always had one of those. This one's bigger around, so it's more accommodating for a larger sewer hose. So here we are in the 377 RLBH. We're about 15,000 pounds dry weight, about 43 feet long. So this is a big guy. You'll need a pretty good truck to pull it. We can help you size your truck. Make sure your truck can pull it safely. Just let us know. Happy to help with that. A lot of features on this guy. So let's get started on the outside before we go on the inside. We have three slides and a lot of awning space. This awning's just out a little bit because we're next to the coach right beside it. But this awning here is 19 feet long and there's another awning on the slide out that's 11 feet long. So altogether we have 30 feet of covered real estate on the patio side here. Talk about party central. We can have multiple picnic tables out here and barbecuing with friends and everything. I always love a lot of patio side covered space and we have that both with both of these awnings. Um, now, neat features here, we have two basement doors. Of course, we have the magnet catches here instead of the plastic uh, little clips that used to break all the time. Check out how clean this storage area is in here. We have motion sensor lights that uh, pop on. So when your hands are full, and they always are when you're loading things, these are gonna pop on. This is your central vac system. You put a bag in here, much like the bag that goes in your vacuum cleaner at home. Over there, you'll see a five gallon water bottle that's plumbed to the uh, spigot in the island, and then also your water and ice in the door of your refrigerator. Notice down here, we have a spray uh, connection and all your connections for your vacuum hose right here. Check this out. If you need to spray the dog off or you're at the beach, you got sandy feet, this is a quick connect. Pop this in here. Now I can spray my legs off, give the dog a bath, give yourself a bath. It's a quick connect. It makes it easy to pop on and off. And there's one on the other side as well. Really a handy feature. Now, check this out. We ordered this guy with a tailgater TV option that I can tilt any way I want for perfect viewing angle out here on the patio. So we can be watching, talk about tailgating, man. We can have the game on here, have drinks and food out here on the patio side, and I can angle this. I can even let the neighbors over there watch it if I want to. And then when you're done with it, it just stows right back in there out of the way. Very handy, love it, love it. Next to this, we have a little drink refrigerator and then a Blackstone griddle platform. Notice there's not a Blackstone griddle on this one. That's because there's a shortage of those, like a lot of other things this year. You'll get a coupon to sign up to get a Blackstone griddle when they become available again soon. But your Blackstone griddle would fit right in here. Pop this out. Now we have our, our griddle here, our drinks here. We have uh, electrical power for the margarator, the coffee maker, the blender, whatever to sit up in here. So again, really nice party central out here. We have speakers embedded in the wall right here. So when it's time to hear the jams and the tunes out on the patio, not only are they, they aren't just speakers, they're JBL speakers. This is a bona fide sound system. Really, really nice. So all together, of course, we have lights under here. Nice blue light at night, keeps this uh, lit up nicely. And 
bottle opener free with purchase. <laughs> okay. Propane bottle here tells me that we're generator prepped. So if you notice, we've got a bottle here. On the other side, I've got two propane bottles, three all together. If you want to add a generator, we're prepped for that. So we ordered this gen prep. Right there's where the generator would be hooked up. Not only do you have this space down here, but you have this storage space up here for bag chairs and, and other items. Nice big battery tray here where we can put batteries, and we're gonna put those new batteries in for you when you purchase it. Um, now notice we're in a drop frame construction here. This is an Eagle over to my right. Notice that's not a drop frame construction and compare it to this. See how this is beveled? So we have a drop frame construction which enables Jayco to give you a lot more storage on the inside of this, uh, especially when it comes to what I call the basement storage underneath. Nice big cavernous storage areas. Try not to crack my head on this. Here's our two more propane bottles. So uh, lots of propane capacity here. Even if you don't put a generator on, you have more propane capacity. Now we're on the opposite side of our pass-through storage area. Nice and clean, right? So plenty of area to store all kinds of goodies down here. And I always like to brag on the utility area here. Buying a fifth wheel, even if this isn't your first fifth wheel, it can be a little bit intimidating and in how do you hook everything up? Jayco takes the mystery out of it by giving you this little diagram here. So depending on if you're dry camping or you're gonna hook up to city water, maybe it's time to winterize it or you wanna sanitize your fresh water tanks, whatever the scenario is, adjust these colored knobs just the way the diagram tells you and you're good. Follow the diagram and even a dummy like me can figure it out. I really like that. It's stuck on there. It's never going to peel off. It's right there where you need it. You can route all of your uh, cables and hoses and so on up through here so that this door can stay closed and climate controlled. So super cold weather, this is a climate controlled area in here. You know, we have plumbing in here. Here's your whole house water filter. Don't want that to freeze. So we can route our uh, hoses right up through here hooking them up here, close the door, makes a tight seal, and this still remains in the climate controlled area. We have our auto level system right here. Of course, you can do that from inside on the touchpad, and you can do it also from the app on your phone, all the leveling functions. Actually, all the functions on this unit you can do from the app on your phone, but you can come out here and do it manually too. Access to our water heater is right here. Nice direct spark ignition. This is gas or electric, it runs off gas or electric, and you can turn them both on at the same time if you want it to recover even quicker. This is your furnace vent right here, suburban furnace. Again, we have Schwintec slide mechanisms here. This is a whole other quick tips video perhaps, but our techs here love the Schwintec uh, slide mechanisms. They're what I have on my own personal coach. They're the most reliable. If you ever did have an issue, it's easy to access the motors. You can pull this back up at the top and access the motor to get to it. Should you ever have to get to the Schwintec slide motor and override it, push it in manually, heaven forbid, or something like that. We don't see a lot of problems with these. That's why the techs love them so much. But if you do have to work on them, we like the Schwintec technology. What's behind door number three? It's the access door to the back of your residential refrigerator. So chances are you're not gonna need to open this door very often, but if you do need to access the back of the refrigerator, here it is to do some maintenance items, perhaps winterizing. If you ever did have an issue and a, a, a technician from Whirlpool needs to come out and, and access your unit, instead of pulling it out from the front side of the coach, you can access it back here and get to the integral parts of the unit. Really like that. So again, you're probably going to close that and keep it locked most of the time, but it's there if you need it. Notice we have frameless windows throughout and on this unit we ordered slide toppers on all the slides. So see every slide has an awning on it. I call them slide toppers. Um, a lot of people think that helps keep the slide top top 
top of the slide dry, it's just to keep debris off. So if you're parked at an RV park for an extended period under a pine tree, pine needles, pine cones falling, this is gonna help keep that debris off the top of your slide so you don't have to get up there and sweep it off or blow it off with a leaf blower. Helps keep the top of your slide clean. So we've got those on uh, all the way around here. I noticed we ordered this with the Sanicon Turbo system. So this is a, a waste macerator. This will uh, evacuate your holding tanks just like that, really, really fast. Um, everybody that has these seems to like them a lot. Now you can also do it the old fashioned gravity way, uh, but the macerator power system is very popular and, uh, and this comes with it. Roof ladder to get up on top and I've also previously pointed out our hitch. Again, this is now standard in 2022. You may never want to uh, double tow, have another trailer back here, but you might want to put a platform back here for a, uh, maybe um, um, a handicapped vehicle, an ACV, a small bicycle, a luggage rack with some firewood, what have you. It's right here if you need it, and it's standard. Now we have uh, power outlets here in the back. A lot of folks, myself included, like to put lights on our awnings, so we have power outlets right under here, handy, and your cable and the satellite uh, output right here as well. I don't talk about the J-Smart lighting as much as I should. This is a safety feature. So let's say we're going down the road and I'm following this guy and he hits the right turn signal. Most manufacturers give you one blinker right there and that's all you see. Well, what happens if I'm in the middle of this thing, right next to this guy? How would I know you're turning? Every marker on the whole right side of the coach flashes when you turn your right turn signal on. It lets me, the other guy, know that you're about to turn over to the right. Same way on the left. Another cool thing is we have white LED lights back here, backup lights that help uh, in a backup situation to help you light the way when you're trying to back into a spot after dark. Nice safety feature. We have our Moride Step Above Steps. These are great. I always brag about them. It looks like a huge bulky thing. What do we do with it when we get to where we're going? You just lift it up. It's zero gravity. Tuck it in here for the travel position and you're done. Pull down like so. Again, we're zero gravity so it's super easy to do. Each one of these legs is adjustable. Drop it down till it makes contact. Perfect. Now we've got a great way to get in safely. I can grab a hold here from the very first step. Makes it easy to go in and out of the coach. We have a screen door. Love these screen doors. All right, so I can close this, but I have the margarita pass-through door right here. So honey, I need a margarita and out comes the margarita. Close that to keep the uh, critters and the mosquitoes out. Love the screen door. A lot of people are surprised to see screen doors. If you're a, an experienced RVer, you probably know that in most cases you do have a screen door. But hey, if you've never had an RV, get a screen door too, just like so. Let's look inside. Now we're inside this 377 RLBH. If this isn't my favorite floor plan, it's close to my favorite floor plan in the North Point line. This checks so many boxes. Supposing you work from home or your RV, you have an office here. Say you have kids, a teenager that wants to go in there and do some gaming, right there you go. Maybe you wanna get away from the kids that are out here gaming. You can get away. This is a separate little office and we'll go in there in a minute. We have a loft above for more sleeping area above this area and yet we have a nice spacious living room in the back. Beautiful kitchen. We have a beautiful island here, a four burner cooktop with a nice oven and check it out. Hallelujah. How gorgeous is that? We're talking about 21 cubic feet of refrigerator bliss. Now, if you like to cook in here, you don't have to sacrifice like you do in most RVs. We have a four burner chef style cooktop. These are cast iron grates. They're pretty heavy, easy to take off and clean. So, uh, you know, you can make those gourmet meals here. Check out this nice sized oven. Yes, folks, it is big enough to do a turkey in if you're so inclined. Very, very nice. I like that. Very nice feature. 
And then, check this out. I'm not sure if this is a broiling tray or storage. I guess I should do my research, but uh, this is great. This is a quality Insignia brand oven. Now, we have a bay of drawers right next to it. Notice that we're full extension drawer glides. Makes it easy to access everything in the drawers. Soft close, see? <laughs> Plenty of goodies there left over from your TV installation. We'll sort through those for you. Nice uh, island uh, prep space here. So here's that water bottle spigot that I was alluding to down in the basement. This is plumbed to that five gallon water bottle so you can cook and drink uh, purified water right here. You don't have to fill your refrigerator up with bottles of water and take up valuable, valuable space in your fridge. You have it right here. That bottle's also plumbed to the ice and water in the door here. So you know you're making good, clean, pure ice cubes. So notice here we have an extended prep area and slash cutting board here. This just simply lifts out when you don't need it. Push this away for travel. You can put this under the bed up front or wherever you like to get it out of the way. Here's a neat thing you can do too if you need a little extra prep area. Just simply set it over the top of your cooktop and uh, have a little extra prep area if you've got some guests over and you're making tacos or whatever. Spread all the fixings out here. But when it comes time for that extra prep area, pull this out and drop it in. There we go. Very, very nice. Now, pantry storage is always a premium and welcomed in a luxury unit like this. You'll notice the light popped on when I opened up the door. Lots of pantry storage in here for canned goods and cooking supplies, what have you. Fantastic storage. Now, love the JBL system. This is the entertainment system. We've got our fireplace JBL system underneath and our TV, which is of course on a televator, up and down with a switch right here. Here's cool, and this is new in 22. Um, it's now an Insignia Smart TV, Fire TV. Here's your Fire Remote. Notice there's even quick uh, connections right here to Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video shortcuts already on here. You can customize it to suit your needs, but it's a smart TV already, so you don't have to bring the Roku stick from home and turn your not smart TV into a smart TV. Boom, we got a smart TV right here. Fantastic upgrade, really, really like that. Up over the top of the TV, we have more storage, but more importantly, if you can see in here, Brian, here's two HDMI cables already hooked up to the back of the TV for more components. So if you do want to add another component, any kind that you want, right here you go. You don't have to go fishing cables through and drilling holes and what have you. They're already up there. Fantastic. I'm glad that Jayco had the forethought to make it easier on the end user like that. Of course, you can stream music through this stereo from your phone. Uh, to different zones. The A zone is these speakers right here. The B zone are the speakers that are in the ceiling above us and C is out on the patio. You can uh, stream music to all three locations or any of them individually. Fantastic. Now we have a sofa here that folds out into a bed should you have guests and want additional sleeping area. And uh, I'm glad that Jayco reminded me to open here to show off this feature. <laughs> so you can have books and whatnot on the either side here. You know, there's never enough storage in an RV, so we're making use of this otherwise unused little piece of uh, storage area. I don't know if you can look at this. This is actual real wood, okay? Anytime I can brag on the products that Jayco uses, I do. That's a real piece of pine wood right there. I can tell by the grain. All right, now, um, coming over to the other side, same way, have storage here, and notice we have USB charging ports here and household current down here on either side, so you can uh, charge your gadgets here uh, when you're sitting and watching TV or you had a long day. So we're on a, a sofa here that converts to a bed. If you do have guests and want to convert it to a bed, it's easy to do. I'll show you how easy it is. Pull these off. Sometime I'm going to have you time me, Brian. Lift up here, pull this out, drop that leg, drop this leg, like so. 
and boom, we have a bed. And the cool thing about it is, is there's no metal bar digging you in the back. This is actually quite comfortable. Two folks can sleep here comfortably and get a good night's rest. Converting it back is just as easy. Lift that up, come to the front here. Just lift up the front and it's not heavy either. Fold in the legs like that and then put your cushions right back where they were. Velcro on the backs. Okay, Mike, you can do better than that. <laughs> there we go. Just like so. It's just that easy in case you want to have guests and have a comfortable place for them to sleep. Now, this is cool, recliners, right? We have charging ports right here, both USB and household current. This lifts up out of the way if you want it to be more of a love seat configuration. Or if you do want some social distancing, <laughs> right here you go. And then it's all switches right here. When it's time to recline, just push it out like so. We already have the lights on under here. They're heated and they're massage. This is what I call camping. Glamping, yes, right. Very comfortable, very functional, um, and very helpful. Now, another new and 22 feature is this little build-out cabinet section. Um, if you've watched some of my videos, you notice that this charging port used to be in the island. They moved it over here, release this little red button, and it will drop down and get out of the way for travel. When you want to use it, just release it, pull it straight up. So uh, great because a lot of folks work from home again or from your RV like me, have a lot laptop sitting here that I need to plug in. Boom, right there. Very handy. And then we have some more storage right here uh, on either side of our little table and chairs. Speaking of, we can extend this out so we can seat four people comfortably around here. I have two more matching chairs under the bed up front that they look just like this. They're just folding chairs. And then we have our little storage area underneath the table here and underneath our seats as well. How handy is that? put this table back in and out of the way. Let's look at our little bonus room behind here. So again, this is neat. Whether you want an office to work from, a place for the kids to watch TV or videos while mom and dad watch what they want to watch out there, or you need to come in here and make a Zoom call, this is perfect. I can close that door and have this space. Or you have guests and this is like a guest bedroom. No, it's not huge, but hey, it's, it's your own space. We have one little bunk up here for a small human being that drops down, uh, which can also be storage if you want. You can also remove this whole assembly if, you'll never, if you're never going to be using it, or just pop it out of the way. This is a trifold sofa, so this pops out. So certainly one or two people, if they really like each other, can sleep um, here in this configuration. Obviously we have a little table here and then a little workspace here. So I'm sitting here, I can have my laptop here or connect my laptop to this and become my monitor. Nice little workspace. I've got a speaker up here, light switches, some drawers. So definitely I could be working from the road. And I mean, how nice is this? A very nice build quality. We even have, have little drawers over here. So a lot of storage over here. One, two, three, four, five, six drawers. I have three cabinets up here. I have another radio right here where I can stream music from my cell phone to AM, FM. There's an optical drive in here as well. So I have all this. Then I have this storage which actually goes through to the door uh, on the other side. I can remove these shelves. Notice there's already a rod in here to hang clothes. So if I would rather have this for hanging clothes, I've got guests staying here for a week, I can take this out and they have their own closet. Storage up here as well. Very, very cool. Now, Coming around the corner, this is our ceiling fan switch here. Um, and of course, you guys have seen my videos, you know these are obviously grenade launchers. 
It's a security thing that Jayco's adding in 2022. No, these, uh, these are sampling the air temperature to make sure. We have a lot of different zones in here. So your BM Pro is sampling the air temperature through these little guys. Speaking of BM Pro, I'm gonna open this door and see if you can sneak around and see this, Brian. I'm gonna wake it up just by tapping it. Everything that you can do on this touch screen, you can do from your cell phone. You put this BM Pro app on your phone and you can uh, do all of these functions. So climate control, uh, we can check our tank levels. These are all the motors, so your leveling motors, your slide motors, your jacks, everything. The little, uh, this is all your uh, thermostat controls for the second AC, the third AC, and then your lighting. So we can dim all the lights any way we want just by pulling it to the left and the right. Now, here's a cool thing that's coming in 2022 sometime, maybe even early as this fall. It's gonna be called J Voice. <laughs> so uh, you've probably heard of Hey Siri or Hey Google. Well, now you're gonna get Jayco's version of that. You'll be able to voice command the controls almost all the controls in this unit. Certainly all the lighting, your furnace, your air conditioner, simply by starting with Jayco, the word Jayco, and then the command. So Jayco, all lights. We'll do a separate video on that when it becomes available. Um, it will be an update, presumably a Wi-Fi update to the existing BM Pro system. I'll go through that and explain how it works. I'm looking forward to having fun with that. Now hanging here, I see this little card that tells me we have a, an Air 360 wine guard antenna. What's neat about this is it's gonna help you bring in high def television channels over the air. It also makes adding a, a Wi-Fi hotspot super easy. You already have that functionality on here. All you need to do is activate it. Right down by my feet is the central vac system. I call this the magic dustpan. Pop that up and away goes the dust, and pop it back down. Now we also have a little uh, connection right here to put a hose in with all kinds of attachments that will reach each end of the coach. So you don't have to carry a, a vacuum along with you. You have it right there. This is a little motion light right here, coming up the steps to our loft area. So up here, we have room for a couple kiddos to sleep. Heck, I would sleep up there too, plenty, and, plenty of room. And if you're not using it for that, you have plenty of room for storage. Oh, those Christmas decorations and what have you can live up here. Have a little ladder right here that's real handy when you need it. When you don't, stow it away. Just that simple. Now moving into the bathroom, which has some updates in 2022. You'll notice we have a real tile backsplash. Jayco has opted to go with a basin style sink and a high profile high rise faucet. Notice we just have a mirror back here and not a medicine cabinet and we're trading that off for a basin sink. Be interested to know what you think about that. Drop some comments below. But a nice looking basin sink here. Over here plenty of storage for linens, towels, and what have you. Very, very deep storage and a lot of room in there. We have a porcelain toilet right here and uh, again Santacon turbo waste system on this unit that um, seems like everybody I talk to that has the Santacon turbo likes it. I don't have it on my coach. If it came with it, I'd be happy that it did. Uh, I hear a lot of good things about it. I'm six feet tall. There's plenty of room in here. Got a little storage underneath the sink here. And hey, of course, we have to have this. Jayco thinks. Jayco thinks. Of everything yes spring loaded there you go in the shower we go plenty of room to maneuver in here and my wife loves this feature we got a little teak bench right here makes it easy for shaving the legs if you don't want it pop it up out of the way skylight above me so there's plenty of headroom high-end fixtures all around. This really feels like a, a very, very nice high-end shower with glass shower doors here. I like it. Nice stout door moving into the bedroom here, the master suite that we have inside here. A king bed we have right here. 
Jayco's updated the quilt a little bit. This looks very high end, uh, the stitching in this. You get an abundance of pillows. We have a pillow menu here from Jayco. So lots of fluffy pillows to make it comfortable for you. Now we have a king bed in here and yet we still have room to get around to either side to make the bed. You don't have a ton of room, but you do have a little space up here for a bottle of water. It's kind of hard to see with all these pillows and what have you. Um, I would like to see a little more room for putting a bottle of water, a magazine, or what have you, but the trade-off is we have a king bed. You can get a queen bed optional on this. Actually, king bed is optional on North Point queen bed standard. If you have a queen bed, obviously you're going to have a little more room on either side, and you'll also have more room to stow goodies on either side of the bed. You notice these little remote control looking things. Those are uh, light switches primarily, so you have your bed ceiling, reading light, hall light, access, and then all your interior and all exterior lights. So, you laid down, you're watching the movie, and you realize that you left all the lights on up front. Who wants to get up? You can reach over there and turn them all off. You can also do it from your phone, and coming to a North Point near you sometime this fall, hopefully, you'll be able to do it by voice command, too. So. No matter what the scenario, you're going to be able to turn off the lights, turn on the uh, lights at your leisure. Okay, now, nice big walk-in closet, fantastic. These shelves back here for shoes, um, folded clothes, but I bet that's a great perfect place for uh, all Mrs. Dredge's shoes to go. Um, double hanging rods here for clothes. There's a hamper down there and more shelves at that end. That's a motion light. I just don't have it turned on, obviously, or it would have popped on. These are all motion lights. I love that feature. It's the little things, folks, that make the difference, right? Because you're always, you always have something in your hand, or you're going to go in here and you're going to look for that shirt. You don't have to fumble for a light switch. The light's going to come on for you. If you wanted to add a washer dryer, here's where it would go. We're plumbed for it, right? Here's where the dryer vent would go. These shelves come out. In goes your washer dryer. We can install that for you if that's something that you wanted to do. Now here we have um, some relatively shallow but full extension drawer glide drawers. So storage area here. This happens to be the monitor for your backup cameras. Uh, the technician was out here earlier working on it so it landed here but this is what your backup camera monitor looks like. And thank you, Jayco, for reminding me to open here. Great place for jewelry, perhaps your 9mm, whatever your flavor is. Great place to stow that under here. It's very shallow, but making use of uh, otherwise wasted space under here. TV up above, and um, oh, this is right about the time that I always talk about the whisper quiet system. We have the AC on high because it's really hot in Texas today. Um, it's not noisy in here. I'm not having to raise my voice to do this video. It's Jayco's Whisper Quiet System, the way the duct work is in this. It's a double helix. The raceways go like this instead of right angles. A lot of air can move through these and not make a bunch of noise. It's an efficient system. Most of all, it's a quiet system. Here's that WineGuard uh, 360 antenna up here for high def TV channels. It's an FM antenna and of course if you wanted to have a Wi-Fi hotspot in here it's already on there. You just have to activate it with your data plan with uh, whatever your cell phone carrier is. Again we're in a 377 RLBH. This is a 2022 model. Um, I can send you a list of every single uh, enhancement to 2022 if you'd like me to, but I'm trying to hit the high points as we go. One of them I overlooked, and this is pretty cool. Check this out. We have a wine rack um, built in above the microwave up here, so we can put three, four bottles of wine up here above. How classy is that? So again, utilizing what was uh, previously unused space up above there. A lot of attention to detail. I uh, really like this unit because of the separate room, the bunkhouse room. It's a 377 RLBH. My name's Mike Drudge here at Vaud RV. If you'd like to learn more about this RV or any of the RVs that we have or ones that we have on order, 
and we have a lot of them on our order, just click my email below or give me a buzz. I'm happy to talk to you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.